Kerala Chief Minister is in a is in a tight fix. He knows it himself. He is uh, trying to wriggle out of uh, what is clearly a situation that he has made himself in the state. In his desperate effort to get uh, a particular community's vote, he has tried to appeasing the the very very uh, radical elements of that community. And I am saying very clearly that he is using Vargiyavadi and communalism as a phrase to hide his own ineptness as a home minister, his own uh, corruption of his government and his uh, appeasement politics. Look, the Kerala chief minister is in, a, is in a tight fix. He knows it himself. He is uh, trying to wriggle out of uh, what is clearly a situation that he has made himself in the state. He has appeased uh, in his desperate effort to get uh, a particular community's vote. He has tried to appeasing the, the very, very uh, radical elements of that community. And uh, he has found himself today riding a, you know, riding a tiger, which is uh, of uh, violent uh, extremist uh, elements. And so... When he is called out for that, when he is uh, uh, asked why he is allowing the Hamas to openly, Hamas, which is a terrorist organization that had just 10 days ago killed thousands of people in Israel, beheaded children, raped women, kidnapped uh, old and elderly women. And when he is asked why he is allowing them to come to Kerala through a video and address people and the youth and allow them to be radicalized, he says, I am communal. The BJP is communal. Uh, it's a very tortured, uh, you know, uh, de definition of uh, communalism that he is now interpreting. And I am saying very clearly that he is using Vargiyavadi and communalism as a phrase to hide his own ineptness as a home minister, his own uh, corruption of his government and his uh, appeasement politics. It is very clear to me. And if he wants to call me, whatever he, he, he wants to call me, he can call me. But the fact is, he has to answer for the creation of this type of an atmosphere in Kerala where radical elements have almost a free pass, uh, including but not limited to Hamas, uh, the, in terms of spreading the radical message. This is something that is unacceptable and he should not be doing the this. Kind of the clarification coming from their side, sir, is that it is not a banned organization, that's why we are alone. Yeah, so, the other side, no, I mean, this is, this is the most ridiculous answer, ridiculous uh, uh, point. Uh, it is almost like uh, Pindrai Bijan and his colleagues don't so read the news, read the papers, don't hear about the killings in Israel, don't see the images of uh, dismembered uh, bodies and headless children. And, uh, you know, it's almost like he is uh, believing that all of us are fools and, and have not seen any of these images, number one. Number two, uh, it is not a question of whether they have to be banned or not. The exact opposite is happening. His own MLAs are saying, Swaraj, his MLA says, that Hamas is justified in what is, what is happening. The issue is not anymore just about appeasement politics. It is about normalizing terrorism. It is about normalizing violence to meet the political ends. This is precisely, and the CPM should come out and say this, that we think Hamas is justified in killing, and murdering, raping, and beheading. Let them say it. If that is what their MLA thinks and what, that is what uh, their uh, Indian Union Muslim League Munir says, then uh, let, let them come out and say it.